Hi you guys, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, my name is Darlena. And if you're not new, then you know that I took a little break for the last, I think it was like week, week and a half, um, totally unplanned. I just kind of got really overwhelmed and was like, you know what, I'm not going to pressure myself to work on, you know, uploading YouTube videos or posting on TikTok or Instagram or anything like that and just focused on my other job, what I had to do there. And it was kind of a nice break. Also, I'm not going to lie with you guys, but I was feeling very discouraged in this industry and I was like, if I have this other job, do, should I still be doing this? Is this something that, you know, people even want to see? Just like imposter syndrome and a lot of um, self-doubt. But um, coming back on, I was, I got on Instagram for maybe like 10 minutes yesterday and um, just some sweet and encouraging kind messages from you guys, um, just saying that, you know, not to give up and, you know, we miss you and stuff like that. So, um, that was definitely the encouragement that I needed. So thank you guys for caring. Thank you guys for encouraging me. I really, really do appreciate it. And, um, it means so much to me. Move you guys over here. <laughs> it is Friday morning and I literally just woke up, rolled out of bed and headed to Starbucks. I slept in big time. I woke up at like 5.30 because like that's usually the time that we're up during the week. And then I went back to sleep, woke up at seven cause that was when my alarm went off. Then I went back and woke up again. <laughs> at like almost 8 30 and I was like oh crap maybe that's a little bit late for me to be sleeping <laughs> so I thought I would get a Starbucks to you know kickstart my day my Friday I got a grande iced Americano with one pump hazelnut and a splash of cream so good but yeah I just wanted to do this quick little intro um i'm not sure what i'm gonna make this video i wanted to get a video up this week before our disneyland trip which is sunday monday and i'm not sure if i'm gonna just make this a card chat or if this is gonna be a day in the life or you know two days in my life friday saturday not sure i'm kind of just i don't really have a plan anymore with influencing and like social media posting i know i want to get a youtube video up every week not sure if I'm gonna have like themes or vlogs anymore. I mean, I really do like vlogs. They're just like the easiest to film and you guys love them the best. So I'm probably just gonna stick with vlogs. And um, with Instagram, that's a little bit harder because it's harder because everything is so like, everything has to look a certain way on Instagram. So I'm not gonna pressure myself to post um in feed or reels or anything like that um stories i will be showing up i will try and show up every single day per usual um just because i want to show up for you guys and tiktok tiktok has always been a hard one for me i love tiktok as like an escape just like watching funny videos and you know enjoying that and then posting is just like a whole different thing of like coming up with ideas and all that kind of stuff um, so I'm not sure how that's gonna work yet I'm not even sure if I'm gonna continue to post on TikTok if I do it'll be very very rarely um, with Instagram though I will still be posting my outfits because I genuinely just love showing sorry my memory card just became full so I had to replace it but I was saying that I still want to be posting like my outfits on Instagram because that's genuinely what I love showing you guys what you love seeing that's the whole point of my Instagram is showing you guys my outfits my street style fashion so I just wanted to give you a little life update I've been working non-stop with Tino um, a warehouse job is no joke you guys and there's a lot of changes happening there now I would love to take you guys and show you but for confidentiality reasons um, I cannot and I um, you know rarely should be talking about it <laughs> um, but the little things here and there I can share with you there's just a lot of big changes happening there so they need all hands on deck and um, yeah so that's where I've been and it's hard work plus it's been insanely hot like yesterday it was 95 
well yesterday I had off because I you know what's crazy I worked 32 hours in three days and I, my body was just like hun stop like you need a break so I took yesterday and today off I'm going to work tomorrow morning um, like a half day but yesterday I just like chilled all morning and it was such a nice rest and today I'm resting I'm probably gonna do a little bit of this work and um, you know getting ready for Disneyland and stuff like that Ooh, I can help sorry like 10 thoughts in my head just like popped in um, but I was thinking that I could have you guys pack with me for Disneyland that would be really fun so we could pick out outfits together for Disneyland um, but yeah so that's what my week has been like definitely um still gonna continue like figuring out this balance i don't really know what i was trying to say there it's still really hard trying to um to continue to figure out this balance um but i'm trying and i'm learning and e taking each day as it comes um thank you guys so much for all your support still every like every comment all your subscribes um they do not go unnoticed but yeah, um, I'm feeling a lot better today. I was like trashed yesterday. I mean, my face is still like puffy and I still look really tired, but um, doing a lot better energy wise than earlier this week. So we love that. Um, I'm actually going to hop on Instagram stories right now and say hello because I have not talked to you guys there in a while. And yeah, I just wanna start posting again. I just, you know, Hopping back on Instagram yesterday was like, okay, I really miss this. And that was like a sign because I was like, it was like a test for myself to see if I hop back on Instagram and I'm like, oh, I did not miss this. Then it's a sign of like, I should like really, really take a step back. But if I hop back on and I'm like, oh my gosh, I really miss this. Then I'm like, okay, like I should not quit. So that was what happened. I hopped on and I was like, wow, I really missed this. So um, definitely not going to stop. Definitely going to try and make it work. Um, just going to be a very slow learning process, but. Okay, y'all, I am just making a smoothie for breakfast. It's a little bit later. This. I'm using this um, Primal Kitchen collagen. I'm gonna put it in my smoothie. I have frozen banana, bloops, milk, spinach. I'm gonna add this as well as a protein powder. What the heck? Where did the scoop go? I'm so confused right now. What the heck? I guess I have to get a spoon. I was just listening to AJR and I literally forgot how good they were like if you ever want to get into like the best mood and like such like a up uplifting mood listen to AJR because literally never fails every single time they're like one of my favorite I think they're yeah they're my favorite band and um we just watched this movie the other night it just came out with uh Cole Sprouse and uh, the girl that was in um to all the boys I've loved before such a cute mo movie like little rom-com um moment and ajr was playing in the movie and i was like oh my gosh i forgot how like such a vibe they were so now every single morning i've been listening to ajr to get me in like such a mood and i love it so definitely check them out if you have never heard them before they're like literally my favorite band of all time this is a protein powder i'm going to use the tahitian vanilla iso pure protein powder literally can't taste it and it's so good um so probably be keeping because i'm going to make this and then freeze it while i do my workout so that way when i'm done with my workout it's kind of like slushy-esque it's so good when it's like frozen especially because it's like really super hot out um tastes so much better when it's like for it's almost like a smoothie bowl i added those two things and then i'm just adding some peanut butter this is the creamy unsalted and unsweetened from sprouts the sprouts brand it's literally just roasted peanuts um tip is if you want to get like a healthier peanut butter almond butter whatever it is 
get something without palm oil because I noticed that palm oil really upsets my stomach. So if you have a sensitive gut, um, definitely get your peanut butter or whatever nut butter without palm oil, palm oil or any added oils. Um, it's definitely, I've noticed a difference for sure. So I'm just going to add a heaping tablespoon of that. Ah, it's so drippy. I think this actually makes two servings, so I can have one for tomorrow as well when I go to work, which is great. I, I lately have been alternating between a smoothie, this smoothie, and green juices because you guys know I love my green juices. Um, oh my gosh, it's literally a perfect two portions. <laughs> Yay. Um, I'm going to work out now. Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. Definitely try this recipe. Wow, you guys. Okay, I'm going to put these in the freezer. going to go work out. I just want to say I'm really proud of my workout because, okay, since this job too, my workout has not really been consistent. But when I can, I work out. And if you guys have like been watching the vlog since like a year ago, I have lost a significant amount of weight and that is not the reason why I work out. I work out to like feel good and stay healthy and you know feel strong and for the endorphins like a stress reliever but um, just looking back on like who I was like a year ago um, I've definitely come a long way. Definitely come a long way and I'm very proud of myself so I am just you know self-love these next these last two days you know self-care um i really do see working out as a form of self-care so just a little encouragement for you guys today um work out as a way of loving your body i ask myself do i love myself enough to move today and you know the answer is always yes i love myself enough to give it some movement and yeah it is a little bit later in the afternoon. I am just trying on my outfits that I want to bring to Disneyland. I thought I would show you guys. Um, I have this light on because the sun is going down and you wouldn't be able to see me without it. So here is what I'm thinking for day one. This tank top is from Princess Polly. Um, you guys would have seen it in a haul like a couple weeks ago. And I'm wearing my Skims bra underneath which I think makes this tank like super good and I love the colors perfect for spring I paired it with these um, shorts I got from Target you guys also would have seen the haul of these and yeah I think this is like the perfect day one outfit because I'm not sure what the weather is going to be like um, they basically you know there could be heat advisory it could be nice and cool so I'm just prepared for whatever and also if it is cool I have a pink sweatshirt let me show you guys that I got from boohoo that you guys would have seen um, in that haul I think a couple vlogs ago but um, let me try it on and show you guys okay this is what the pink sweatshirt looks like with it and I think it's so cute and it goes perfectly with the pink that's in the tank top so I think this will be a very cute first day outfit and then I'll probably wear my Air Force Ones with this. I'm also going to bring these jeans that I got from American Eagle. These are the mom straight jean and I'm going to bring these for when it's cold at night. Our first day is going to be at California Adventure because we got the tickets that are like one park one day, one park the other day. And so this is going to be my California Adventure outfit. So we're going to be there late to see the world of color. So definitely got to bring jeans and a sweatshirt for, you know, the cold night. Okay, our second day is going to be at Disneyland and I want to wear something a little more neutral. Um, I have this chocolate crop from Boohoo that I got like I think last year so I have this and I'm thinking like a biker shorts moment so I have these black ones from Old Navy I thought these two look cute together I also have two other options this is the second option which is totally much more a me option I guess just like you know an oversized tee with biker shorts um thinking maybe this would be cute also my third option which i'm kind of nervous for this is my third option this cute little v gray tank from shein 
and this is totally out of my comfort zone you guys like i think this is so cute but i'm like so like self-conscious to wear something like this so i don't really know but um vote in the comments and if you follow me on instagram you'll find out what i ended up picking um also you'll see it in the vlog when we post the disney vlog um but yeah definitely comment or dm me um on instagram what you think would be the best option for disneyland day i also just got this um belt bag from lululemon it's their everyday belt bag i will have it linked below um but i'm definitely gonna have this with me throughout the whole days of the park so i'm thinking like this moment would be cute or obviously like around my waist um and then air force ones probably but i think this outfit's so cute i just don't know if i am bold enough to wear it i also really like the chocolate one too but then i could go the safe option with my you know trusty old t-shirt so maybe i'll just bring all three and then decide the morning of <laughs> and this is also why i wanted a more neutral outfit for a disney day is because i have this kind of like little turtleneck moment gray sweater from airy this is what it looks like it's cute and it has like a little um you know what is it like cutout moment but i would probably just like tuck it in like this and wear it like that so it gives me a little bit more shape and yeah so this is what i'm thinking for disney day super cute so those are my outfit options i don't know what i'll end up picking for the second day but i definitely have the first day planned out and i'm thinking like a neutral outfit for disneyland only because i want to get some ears and i haven't decided which ears yet though so i think it'll be a nice little pop of color that i could add you know to the outfit um but yeah i'm so excited for disneyland um also whatever you know outfit that i don't wear i could use as like a water water outfit just in case i get wet um in case we go like on splash mountain or the other what's the other ride great grizzly river rapids or something like that california adventure um but yeah so that's what i'm bringing also there's a gym at the hotel and me and tino are <laughs> thinking of working out monday morning before we go to disneyland which is a little crazy i know but we just love working out it's just such a fun thing that we like to do we don't work out together we used to in Oklahoma but now because we have different goals we work out separately like I do my form workouts he does his you know lifting um, but we just genuinely like working out so might do that I have to bring a workout set for that and yeah the only shoes I'm gonna bring are probably my Air Force ones um, I wear those a lot at work I also wear um, my air maxes at work but because i've lost weight my feet have shrunk like a size or half size um so i'm not at eight anymore and my air maxes actually hurt after a long while um, because they're too big for me so i just haven't gotten around to getting my right size and my air forces are also too big for me but if i wear them for like a longer period of time they're a little bit more comfortable um, so i'm probably going to be wearing those both days and yeah it's um almost let me see what time it is actually it's 5 25 almost as 5 30 and tina's still at work i have been chilling um doing some instagram work and i've been watching pretty little liars which i have never seen all the way through i've seen bits and pieces um but i'm actually watching it all the way through so you know because it was like the thing when i was in high school and i never just i never watched it so i'm watching it now just because i needed a new show and we're almost done with peaky blinders so this is like my show you know tina would never watch it <laughs> he has like his shows like that one on disney plus that's like moon moon whatever um but yeah pretty little liars is my show right now and i'm only i'm still on season one like literally not even like 10 episodes in but I'm watching it very slowly. So basically what I'm going to do for the rest of the evening, um, I'm going to watch my show, do a little more Instagram work, and just chill until Tino gets home. Um, maybe I'll have him rate my outfits for Disney. 
and then we can see which one he likes best but still comment down below which one you think you want me to wear i just made dinner i made this margarita pizza from sprouts we love the sprouts brand pizzas so i cut half for myself and then half for tino when he gets home he's actually staying super late tonight because of some things going on um they have to move a lot of things around and not sure when he's gonna be home probably like around like eight or nine so I'm probably not gonna get to film his reaction or rating of my outfits so definitely I want your guys's opinion about them let me know um I'm gonna actually end this vlog here because I want to get it up tonight or tomorrow morning haven't decided yet and also I edited a little bit and it's already over like 20 minutes long and so I don't I don't understand how that even happened but it is what it is and I'm going to end the vlog here so if you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe um, the next vlog that you will see will be Disneyland and I'm so so excited for everything to go to film all the food everything like that so um, yeah I will see you guys in the next one